review of mug root beer this will be a 20 ounce variety guys i appreciate you guys making donos uh, you guys delivered me a pizza one day and you asked what, if i wanted a drink so i was like hey can you give me like a 20 ounce mug root beer it's one of my favorite drinks so a little bit about the mug root beer it has zero grams of fat zero grams of saturated fat zero grams of trans fat 72 grams of carbs or 26 percent of uh calories or something uh, net carbs 72 grams zero grams of dietary fiber and 71 grams of sugar as well as 71 grams of added sugar totaling 100 142 percent squad so i have that mug beer in the refrigerator and we are going to try it out i had it left out on the fruit uh, on the in the front yard or actually not in the front yard on the chair for like three or four days just kind of out there but it was finally moved to the fridge for like a couple days and we are ready to try it so i left it in the refrigerator okay hat squad i have it right here so i do not drink 20 ounce mugs that much hopefully it is not taken up here that'd be mad embarrassing it says please re bottle uh, re I mean a recycle bottle with cap on right here so cheers squad I don't want to waste the carbonation also on the sides here it says refresh then recycle and it comes with a barcode 0129 100 and then 5 One group beer is 591 milliliters with 1.25 pints. Coming in at 260 calories per bottle. <sighs> Let me know if you like mug, mug root beer, guys. Or have you tried it before? I personally think a 20 ounce serving is quite a bit for her. Have it once. Now this is listed as caffeine free, which means that it may have been processed in a facility that has caffeine. <clears throat> uh, I think root beer may, may, so it may have been removed from it. Now that mean that may mean that there is trace amounts of caffeine in said concoction we have here. Let me said this is adequately carbonated, even after being left out for like three or four days and then put in the fr refrigerator. So this is quite awesome high fructose colorants there caramel color sodium benzoate which preserve freshness citric acid which is pretty much all standard besides the caramel color in sodas we have natural art and artificial flavors modified cornstarch or food starch rather calcium calcium disodium etda to uh, protect flavor and coelia extract so yeah, this is nice and refreshing. However, I personally prefer it if I was more dehydrated as I only have gotten around one sixth of it down. But a little bit more about mug root beer taken directly from Wikipedia. It's an American brand of root beer that was originally produced in 1940 under the name Belfast Root Beer. It is now made by New Century Beverage Company of San Francisco, which was acquired by PepsiCo in 1986. Let's take another sip here, squad. It was introduced in 1940, which is 84 years ago, with the parent company being PepsiCo. It has a mascot of the dog. Now, I don't, I'm not sure what specifically dog it is. Now, <laughs> with their website being PepsiCo.com, and their owner being PepsiCo, which is founded in 1986 through present, is Produced by New Century Beverage Company. In a future video, we'll go into a full retrospective about mug root beer. But let me know what your favorite beverage is. I personally pr also prefer Barks, as it is kind of like mugs root beer, and it is available at tap, such as like places such as Wendy's. However, that is a caffeinated variety. So let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.